by Brian Deardo 101 minutes ago Troy Polamalu did not return to the football field during the Pittsburgh Steelers Saturday afternoon practice from St. Vincent College in Latrobe. But a fan wearing Troy's old number did sneak onto the team's practice field before being detained by security. Below are photos of the fake Steelers player along with the rest of Saturday's practice highlights that includes the return of Antonio Brown, who missed several practices like week due to injury. Put me in coach T. Curtain 4, August 11, 2018 The above Steelers fan, wearing Troy's old number 43 jersey, successfully entered Pittsburgh's practice field before being detained by security and escorted off of campus. Steelers coach Mike Tomlin did not discuss the matter following practice, AB back in full. Here's Brown and individuals, and he was awfully chirpy once, he started winning one-on-ones. You ain't stick me since we've been here, Brown told Artie Burns. Pick.twitter.com slash rimshi 88 is, Jeremy Fowler, at J Fowler's PN, August 11, 2018 After missing last week's practice with a reported quadriceps injury, Antonio Brown was a full participant during Saturday's practice. Brown also resumed his personal rivalry with cornerback Artie Burns. The team's number one pick back in 2016, Burns and Brown have battled against one another during practice sessions each of the past three seasons. While covering Brown is still a handful, Burns has certainly closed the gap against the league's best receiver this training camp, TJ. What hamstring, continues to miss practice time but did go through some individual drills during Saturday's practice. Mike Tomlin stated that offensive lineman BJ Finney has a contusion but should not miss significant time after sustaining the injury during Thursday night's preseason victory over the Eagles. Sean Davis, Groin, and Xavier Grimble, Thumb, were also inactive on Saturday. Linebacker Bud Dupree remains in the concussion protocol, while Eli Rogers, knee, is still on the team's pub list. Ramon Foster remains inactive with a hyperextended knee, Rudolph, Washington look familiar, at Cowboy? Question mark, question mark. Pick that twitter.com slash zpv7 or 3qt, Pittsburgh Steelers, at Steelers, August 10, 2018 James Washington scored yet another touchdown during Saturday's practice, as the team's second-round pick continues to turn heads during training camp. On Thursday night, Washington pulled down a 35-yard pass from Mason Rudolph during the team's 31-14 victory over the Eagles. The duo connected on 13 touchdown passes during their final season at Oklahoma State. Mason Rudolph gets first shot at two-minute offense. Hits Smith-Schuster for 32-yard gain on first play. Artie Burns picks him off deflection of hands of Justin Thomas on second play. Rudolph went 7 of 12 with 102 yards in his NFL preseason debut Thursday night. Rudolph quarterbacked Pittsburgh's offense to three scoring drives. Mason Rudolph addressed the deflated football inadvertently used during the third quarter of Pittsburgh's 31-14 victory over Philadelphia in the team's preseason opener. The NFL has sent the ball back to Wilson for review. The NFL added that each of the game used balls were tested and approved by the league prior to the start of Thursday night's game. It would not have been an advantage, Rudolph told reporters on Saturday from St. Vincent College in Latrobe. Rudolph said that the ball used for one play during the third quarter. Kind of a freak deal. I threw the ball down the sideline on a go route. It was like one of those footballs in your grandfather's garage that sits for two years and is completely flat. That deal, Steelers receiver DeMoon Patterson hit a backflip after his beautiful 29-yard touchdown catch in Philly. On cue, Patterson reenacts the flip. Pick that twitter.com slash 7 d Jeremy Fowler, at J Fowler's PN, August 11, 2018 Patterson backflipped Thursday night after pulling down a 29-yard touchdown pass from Josh Dobbs. Patterson, who finished the game with six catches for 77 yards, explained his touchdown celebration with ESPN's Jeremy Fowler following Saturday's practice. Patterson is in the running to earn a spot on the team's 53-man roster.
https colon slash slash t dot co slash uzound bum 8 x w 2 pittsburgh steelers at steelers august 11 2018 mike tomlin highlighted several facets of pittsburgh's preseason opener that he liked specifically the team's adaptation to some of the nfl's new rules particularly on special teams Tomlin also liked his team's ball security on Thursday night, as the Steelers enjoyed a 3-1 turnover margin. Tomlin also liked what he saw from several of his young players that included undrafted rookies Ola Denny and Damoon Patterson, great to have at 9x coach David Fisdale at practice today. Always enjoy sharing ideas and philosophies with others in the business. Pick.twitter.com slash Mike Tomlin, at Coach Tomlin, August 11, 2018 Coach Tomlin and the Steelers welcomed New York Knicks coach David Fisdale to Saturday's practice. Also attending practice on Saturday was former Steelers cornerback Ike Taylor, who served on Pittsburgh's staff as a coaching interim in the past start the conversation 247 sports.